Hey there, I'm Di. As you already know from the title, this is a Create This Book episode. So let me just grab a few things and let's get straight into it. The first prompt I wanna tackle is one I already started but didn't finish. Create a theme. I'm not totally in love with the sketches I did, but I do like the concept. So I'm gonna redo the sketches and give them some color. Now these sketches here I've already done off camera and there's a little backstory as to why. I'm not a natural at drawing and I definitely don't practice enough to be straight up good. So I practiced drawing these little pictures in my sketchbook while sitting on the couch in the evening. I even gave them some color and was pretty happy with them. The next day I went ahead and drew them again on camera and they were somehow worse, but I did try and trust the process, thought just give them some color and they'll turn out fine. So I did that and they were still looking pretty dorky. So I tried painting a background for them thinking that would improve it but nope, it looked worse and really trash. So that night on the couch again, just chilling with the family, I sketched them out again and they looked good. So I'm not sure what went wrong when I filmed, whether I was rushing the pictures or felt under pressure because I was filming or what, I don't know. But you guys have missed the sketches for these four pics. Maybe at the end, if I'm feeling brave, I'll let you see the trash drawings. If you haven't guessed yet, yes, I'm going for one of my favorites, Harry Potter theme. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Mr. Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I'm using my own hoo hoo markers and I've already colored a flying key. And here we have a Gryffindor scarf. And next is the monster book of monsters. I've always wanted to actually make my own monster book of monsters, maybe with polymer clay. I've got a bare wooden box in the shape of a book that is ready to be customized. And I thought I could use polymer clay on it and sculpt it to look like the monster book of monsters. If any of you are Harry Potter nerds like me and would like to see a video of that, let me know in the comments. For the next batch of drawings, I was able to do them on camera and they seemed to turn out okay. gone for a Hogwarts letter, a little potion bottle, a feather quill thing, and finally a wand. This is not a particular wizard's wand, just one I made up. It actually looks a bit like one I made myself before out of chopsticks, alfoil, paper tape, and acrylic paint. I made a bunch of them as prizes for some students I worked with a few years back. I work part-time in a school, and for the class story, I was reading them Harry Potter. The kids all got into it so much, that we used Harry Potter as the theme for the semester. So for science, we did a potions lesson where we tested the pH of different liquids using red cabbage juice. So the liquids change color according to what pH they are. That was so cool. And the kids loved making their potions. We did a transfiguration lesson using oobleck. So the oobleck would transfigure from our solid to a liquid. Uh, the kids learnt how to do coordinates on maps by mapping out Hogwarts. What was the other thing we did? Oh, that's right. I got them to write short stories and I gave them the prompt of what would they do if they got an invisibility cloak for Christmas. Seriously, the students had a ball that year. And I also appointed them points. I had them in groups like Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and they could all earn group points. And at the end, they were able to use their points and spend them on Harry Potter themed items. And so that's why I made the wands. And I kind of thought the wands wouldn't be popular, that the kids wouldn't want them, but they so were. The kids love them. It's the first thing they went for. So if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to make wizard wands, out of chopsticks let me know in the comments and I'll do that one for you. Now I must apologize about the camera angles of this footage I didn't realize at the time that I wasn't in focus and my hand was getting in the way that's what I get for not hooking up the monitor to the camera and keeping a close eye on it. Next I need to go and outline all of my drawings and give them some highlights.
Then using an X-Acto knife, I carefully cut them out, ready to be glued into my book. I wanna make some sort of background so these pictures aren't just floating around on the page. But this is where it kinda of goes wrong. Please remember these little pictures looking good right now because they're not going to look so good in a few minutes. I wanted to paint the background to look like the inside of Harry Potter's trunk and I want it to be nice and light so that the focus is on the drawings. So I use some watercolors and a beauty blender and drag a light brown across the page. I also paint on some buckles and corner pieces and I've quickly realized I made it too big and it's covering up the title on the page, which really, really bothers me. Then I arrange all the items in the bottom of the trunk and glue them down too. I love these little pictures, but I hate the trunk. Should have just let them float around on the page. For the next prompt, I'm choosing a very open-ended prompt. Create whatever. I want to do this one as that little potion bottle I just drew was really fun. So I'm sticking with the Harry Potter theme and I've sketched out some more potion bottles. I'm using my very old Crayola light up board to help me trace them onto some marker paper. It's easiest to do this with the lights in the room off. I'm reversing my steps this time and outlining the bottles first, then going in with the Ohuhu markers to color them. Sometimes I feel like I'm really starting to get the hang of these markers, but I still do struggle with shadows and highlights, especially without a good reference picture. I did look at some pictures to give me ideas on different shaped bottles and also how to make the liquid and the glass look more clear. This time I cut them out using scissors and arranged them on the page. I only want to use this page here as the other one might get messy due to the prompt on the other side of it. I decided to label each potion bottle. Here we have Polyjuice Potion, then Felix Felicis, Essence of Dittany, Veritas Serum, Wolfsbane Potion, and finally Armor Tensia. The page is looking a little empty, so I'll fill in the gaps with a few swirly swirlies and a few twinklies. bring in a bit of gold bling and a few highlights. So there we have it. Two prompts this time, both with a Wizarding World flavour, my trunk of Harry Potter themed items, and a page of potions. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time. Oh yeah, I kind of said I might give you guys a look at the failed page. So I wanted to make it look like a wall within the castle of Hogwarts, but it just looks so random and not like it should. But anyway, there's that potion bottle, a feather quill and a wand. The three items I didn't end up using in the second drawing was the creepy owl. Uh, that doesn't really look like an owl. I've got a golden snitch up there at the top that looks a bit derpy. And then a pigming puff, which is uh, kind of cute, but my first effort was definitely better. 